Hello students, this demo is to help you do the third and final part of making a Space Invaders game for our class. So uh, if you have not yet completed parts one and two, please go back and um, watch those videos and get your uh, program to the same place. So in part one, we added a ship that moved back and forth and we added an ability to shoot. Um, in part two, we created a forever loop that made an enemy and uh, made the enemy come down slowly. And if it gets to the bottom, um, it disappears. And you can see that those coming down. So now we need to uh, add in the game parts of this. So what we wanna make sure of is that if the enemy touches the ship that we die and we're gonna end the game. So that's going to need to happen between the repeat loop here, the repeat four times, and our check if the enemy is touching the edge. So we're going to go to the logic section here and grab another if true then. And we need to be very careful where we put this. This is inside the forever loop, and it's in between the repeat four times and the if the enemy is touching the edge. It needs to be in between those two places. All right. Um, so we want to check if the enemy is touching the ship. So we'll go to the game category and there is a touching, um, if sprite touching block. Um, that's ooh, about like the ninth block down. So if the sprite is touching something else and we want it to say if the enemy is touching the ship. So we're going to change sprite to enemy. Now to get a ship block right here, we need to go to the variables category and get a ship block right here, one of these round ship blocks. So if the enemy is touching the ship, then what do we want it to do? We want it to end the game. And there is a game over block inside game. Um, if you scroll near the bottom, there's just a game over block. So we can throw that in there. So um, that should make it, we can test that out. If we go to here and the enemy touches the ship, uh, it does game over. Let's test it one more time. I'm gonna put it there and the enemy touched the ship. And uh, there's a whole routine where it flashes, it says game over and it says the score. Okay, so that part's done. Next, uh, we wanna uh, figure out if um, uh, we want to add a score to this. So to add a score, we need to go into the game category and we need to um, set the score to zero at the beginning of the game. So we're going to grab a set score zero block and put that into on start. So that gets the uh, reset the score there back to zero when we begin the game each time. But we want to add in if we shoot an enemy, and this is kind of the trickiest part of this one, um, we want to check to see if the shoot hits the enemy. Okay, so that's going to be in the shoot uh, section here. That's our button A plus B pressed. So we want it to check every single time we're dealing with the shoot. So we're gonna be putting a check inside this repeat four times loop that's in the A plus B button section. Make sure you're in the right section, not in the forever section. There's also a repeat there. We wanna be up in the A plus B press section where it's the repeat four times. And we're gonna grab um, from the logic area, we're gonna get another conditional if something is true. So we're gonna grab that and put that inside the repeat four times loop. So let's put it at the bottom of that. So check, it's right underneath the pause. And we want it to check, is the shoot touching the enemy? So in the game category, uh, we want is sprite touching, just like we did uh, two steps ago. We wanna grab an is sprite touching. We wanna grab that in and change sprite to is the shoot touching the enemy. So we just change sprite to shoot and we need an enemy block right here. 
Remember when we just get a um, single round block? That's going to be from variables. So if the shoot hits the enemy, then what do we want it to do? We want it to do three things. First, we want to give ourselves a point or give the player a point. So that's going to be in the game category, and we want to change the score by one, okay? But the problem is um, that shoot will still exist and the enemy exists. So we want the enemy to go away and the shoot to go away. So we need to delete those sprites as part of this. So we're going to get go into game, and we're going to get a delete sprite block and put it inside this if then. And we want to delete the enemy. And we also want to do the same thing and delete the shoot. And this should finish your game. So hope this helps, folks.